Good morning, guys. I am so tired today. Just having one of those really exhausted days, but it's still quite early, so hopefully as the day goes on, I'll wake up a little bit more. But we are off to the car boot today. Really excited to go. Uh, I think this is my third time going to the car boot this year, uh, and my son's first time going to the car boot as well, and he's really excited. He loves a good car boot, which I'm really chuffed about because it's a little bit cheaper for me, uh, but he just loves to have a look around and see what's there. Uh, so yeah, so we're off to the car boot. Um, I'll probably do a voiceover on the next part, purely because it's such a lovely day here. So the car boot is probably going to be busy and I'm gonna have to keep an eye on my son and I don't wanna keep having to stop every 30 seconds to shout to, to make sure that he's actually following me or that he's staying by the side of me all the time. Um, so I'll probably do a voiceover on the next part, but let's get to the car boot and see what they've got. So here's the car boot, guys. It's quite quick. Uh, these are some garden ornaments. They were really cheap, £5, some of them £2, others. Um, they were absolutely brilliant. There's lots of different bits and bobs, lots of Lego, which I didn't buy because I'm always worried they're not going to be enough pieces there. Um, you never know, do you, with Lego. Lots of toys. Um, there was toys everywhere. But great for kids. I hate this. I literally hate this. I hate the fact that clothes are just thrown in. I don't want to get down on my hands and knees and sort through clothes. I haven't got time for that. Um, I like it when they're all put in bags and all the ages there. I'm I'm happy to go through that. Again, there was lots of dolls, lots of toys. This jewelry was 50p, fantastic for little girls dressing up boxes and outfits and stuff. There were other jewelry bits as well that was really cheap. Just other bits and bobs really guys. Loads of stuff for kids and it was such a warm day. There were kids everywhere. Um, there were some really good deals, lots of games and puzzles. I actually bought a couple of puzzles. Um, there was Batman toys, that electric car, that went quite quickly. Uh, lots of hair products and loads of toys. Again, Paw Patrol, Peppa Pig, there was Star Wars, Batman, there was everything. Again, loads of clothes, but I do not like the just thrown it down and just leave it. It just annoys me. It doesn't annoy anybody else. So over to this little toy stand, which um, was great. It was a little bit pricey, a little bit of expensive than I would normally pay. But um, I did get this gun for my little boy, which was extremely noisy. But it was £3 well spent because it was so quiet on the way round because all he wanted to do was play with his toy. There was no whinging about not getting this or not getting that. But there was loads of little bits for boys and girls. That was a fan and a bubble thing, I think. There were, again, lots of different books. These were great. They had names on them. They looked handmade. Not preferably for me, but if you'd like that kind of thing for a kid's bedroom... Um, they were really, I think they were like £5 each. There was Lego everywhere, but that one little figure there was £5 per figure. And I know that's kind of what they're like on Etsy, but when you're at a car boot, you're looking for deals, not looking to spend what you would spend online. Um, I would just rather spend it online, so if it's broken, I can take it back. Uh, but there were absolutely lots of them. I mean, am I wrong in thinking that I'd rather buy it online brand new than spend £5 at a car boot? I've always believed that car boots are there to get the good deals, not to pay a fortune. There were these guitars there. A lot of people were um, hanging around this particular area. I'm not musical at all, so lost on me. There were lawnmowers as well. If you wanted to get a cheap lawnmower, why weren't they there last week? Um, and then obviously you've got golf clubs as well and bikes. These Star Wars Lego were brand new, never been opened. They were £20 each. My little one really wanted one, uh, but I just didn't have that amount of money on me. Um, well, I did, but then all of it would have been gone and I wanted to see whatever deals were there. But if you love Lego... This was actually um, a really good deal. They had all sorts of stuff that I've not actually seen in the toy shop or online before. I'm sure they are online, but I've not seen them. Lots of different books as well. So if you are a reader, rather than go and buy brand new, go and check your local car boot and your charity shop first because you could get some really good deals, especially for kids. I should have picked that up. I should have picked that Disney book up. I really wanted to read them, but I didn't stupidly. I think my son just wanted an ice cream and he had one at £2.50 the ice cream was um 
no longer a 99 again there were helmets i like this where there was a label on the side just said everything in there was 50p so you already know um what the price is my um nieces absolutely love those coloring things i bought them them for christmas and they really enjoyed them so did my son i had from simpsons to uh princesses but if you want the peppa pig stuff you have to go quite early lots and lots of paw patrol toys so we've just come out of the paw patrol phase there were water guns and nerf guns but my son has lots of them already seriously before you go buying massive toys in the toy shop go and check your car boot especially now and coming up to christmas in six months i know it's six months but put it away get some cheap toys for your kids and stuff their kids they're gonna grow out with them lots and lots of avengers toys um wreck it ralph and batman lots of little tiny bits and pieces the stuff that i'm actually trying to get out of my house but my son wanted them and he didn't, he didn't get them. I've never seen a Chewbacca lamp like that before. So that was something new. Don't particularly like it, but it was something I've not seen. Again, there were all these tiny little figures as well, you know, and I think they were like 50p each or a pound, but some of them were like really dirty. So I didn't pick any up because they just had too many marks on them for a pound and it, you know, I, I wouldn't sell it. If I feel like if I wouldn't sell it, then I'm not going to buy it. Again, absolutely tons of books. Uh, a lot of people read books online now with Kindle and stuff. Uh, great little chair if you got little ones. And this was a really tiny laundry basket, which would go great in the kid's room. So he's got his own laundry basket. Um, and then we're moving on to these old teapots that my mum used to collect when I was a kid. Did anybody else used to collect these teapots? Anybody else's parents or, or grandparents used to do them? Lots of cake tins and silicone things that were brand new and still in the packets. Lots of old ornaments that people just tried to get rid of that maybe grandma would like for Christmas, like whatever... Um, whoever it could be for lots of these little star wars dolls which luckily my son didn't see and just walked straight past them so that saved me a meltdown and some money some more jewelry here uh, lots of different rings i say they costume jewelry not very expensive jewelry but great for kids and they had like little kids ones as well uh, so you know you're not going to spend too much if they're going to lose it so a really good idea for for that Again, these clothes are a little bit better. They're not just thrown down in the pile and they and they go. You know, some people will dig. I just I just haven't got the energy for that. I just don't. There were curtains there as well. If you if you're in a new place and you need curtains, check your car boot. Lots of teddies as well. We did pick a couple. Did we? No, we didn't pick a couple up for the dog. I thought we did, but we usually do. Um, and then there were just like little bits and pieces here like mirrors there's literally everything at a car boot if you name it and it will be there somewhere um lots of furniture again if you are moving into a new place or anything like that or into upcycling they'd be great lots of little cars boxes upon boxes of them i mean their house must be so full there were these dolls there was ant-man there i don't really know who the others were scooters and bikes for kids fantastic because they're so expensive and skateboards and helmets and all those kind of things they're really really good uh, to go and pick some up especially if they're just learning how to uh, ride a scooter or go on a skateboard or anything like that and then we've got some more bits and pieces lots of lps if you've got old school record player um so yeah so this is basically a car boot guys it's not brilliant i didn't really get a chance to have a good look around this time because i did have my little one with me okay so here's a few things that we got from the car boot i'm going to go through it in a moment didn't really record as much as i wanted to i didn't get as much as i wanted to because i couldn't look around i forgot how difficult it was to take a child to the car boot when there's so many toys and other things and it was really busy as well so let's go through what we got so i got this um disney panorama puzzle I love doing puzzles and I love doing Disney ones. And this puzzle was one pound. And the lady was really nice and she said, all the pieces are there. I wouldn't sell it without all the pieces. So I will do this actually this week and I'll post it on my Instagram uh, once it's complete. So do go and check out my Instagram, the links in the description box below. Um, but 
I absolutely love this puzzle and it's only one pound so I'm looking forward to doing that. I also got this other puzzle which is also a pound as well. Winnie the Pooh is one of my favourite Disney uh, characters and films so I had to get this one obviously. It's absolutely lovely. I love the fact that the heffalump is in this as well. Uh, so I think I'll be doing that one after I've done this one here. So I've got that. We are really lucky with this little car as well. So we were walking out and um, we just found this on the floor. Uh, so this was free. Um, so unfortunately, I feel sorry for the little boy or the little girl that dropped it. Um, but it was just literally on the floor. There was nobody around, so I couldn't even give it back to anybody. So my son was happy that he got another car um, to play with. We also got this Stormtrooper doll, which was £2. Uh, my little one is absolutely mad on Star Wars, so he's happy that he got this one here. Um, so he's been playing with that. Uh, we also got this gun. This was £3. My little one was moaning that I wouldn't buy him a £20 Lego set when I know I can buy it in the shop brand new. Uh, it does make noise, so I'm going to push the button, so prepare your ears. So he absolutely had such a blast with this toy. It was £3. It is noisy. It is annoying, but it made him so, so happy. So He's um he was chuffed to bits with this. He he put it with his cowboy stuff, so he was happy. I then got this giant Noughts and Crosses outdoor games. My little one spent um about an hour uh playing with this with myself and my mum. Um, it's one of his favourite games. He absolutely loves it. You can play indoors and outdoors, so it's great when it is raining as well. So it's something to do, and he was absolutely loving this. And we also got this Snakes and Ladders game as well. Uh, this is Caterpillars and Bumblebees rather than actually Snakes and Ladders. But again, you can play it indoors and can play it outdoors. And it even has the hooks when you can, if it's outdoors, you can put the pins in so it doesn't blow away. And both of these games were £2.50 each. So £5 for two giant outdoor games. And with the weather turning nicer in the UK, these are going to be so much fun and keep him occupied for hours and um, we can play with the little boys next door and we can play we can get some of his friends to come around as well so very happy with that i did get a minecraft t-shirt for him as well but i put that in the wash um and that was only one pound we got some dog treats here um so the biscuits these I'm not really sure what these are reward treats and some more biscuits these were three for one pound and we also bought another box of biscuits that were 50p uh, but the box had all ripped so i couldn't show you that but the dog loves them they got uh, cranberries in or, or something like that but yeah the dog absolutely loves these so that will keep him busy for a little while so yeah so not as much as i wanted to but still got a few bargains loving these outdoor games i thought that was a really good deal because they're so expensive in the shop so that was great and also these two puzzles i am going to be doing this one because i love mickey and minnie but i also love winnie the pooh who is your favorite disney character are you Winnie the Pooh or are you Mickey Mouse? I'm a big Disney lover. I'm saving for a Disney cruise. If you'd like me to do a video on how I'm saving for a Disney cruise, then let me know and I will do a video on that. Um, but if you had a choice between doing the Mickey Mouse puzzle or the Winnie the Pooh puzzle first, which one would you do? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, that's all I've got, guys. Um, the new, there's new videos coming in the next week or so. So do like and subscribe to get all the future stuff. And if you'd like me to do any of a particular video or go to any other shop to do a haul or to just show you what's in there, do let me know and I will go and do it. Um, I don't think I went through this. Sorry, let me just quickly go through this. This is sweet is your memory, precious your name, deep in our hearts you will always remain. Sadly, I lost my nephew um, a good few years ago now. And every Christmas and every birthday, we buy something to put on his grave. And my mum wanted to get this for him. So this was only £2. It was absolutely lovely and it's so heavy as well it's quite heavy so it's not gonna like blow away in the wind and it's gonna be really nice to place up there for him uh so yeah so very happy with that one so yeah so that is all i've got for you my lovelies i hope whenever you watch this you're having a great day again don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one bye guys